Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today we're continuing with our yoga every damn day challenge. We only have a couple of days left. And today we're going to focus on a yin yoga inspired practice. So for this practice, go ahead and grab a pillow. If you have a tall pillow or a couple pillows that you can put together to make them tall and fluffy go ahead and grab those really quick you can pause the video and grab them now and for this practice we're going to be holding poses uh, for a little bit longer than we normally would so we're really focusing on stretching the muscles elongating the muscles gaining our flexibility which is just as important as strengthening our muscles so let's get started in an easy seated position with a little bit of breath resting the hands on the knees you can close your eyes down Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And release any control over the breath. We're going to roll up to hands and knees. Come into a table position and we'll start with our first pose, which is Balasana. So again, we'll be holding poses a little bit longer. If you uh, don't have very much flexibility in your hips, go ahead and grab one of those pillows. You can put a pillow behind your hips. Or you can bring a pillow around your front and rest down on the pillow this way with your head facing one side. But if you're comfortable down in child's pose, big toes together, knees out wide, and just melt down in the child's pose. We'll be holding poses for quite a while, so if you begin to feel uncomfortable, it's totally okay to come out of the pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, melt down towards your mat.
Let's take an inhale here, gently begin to shift your weight forward and float your body down to your belly. We'll come to a sphinx pose. So resting on the forearms, fingers spread wide, pull the chest up and through the arms. Keeping the shoulders engaged and trying not to sink down too much into the shoulders. This is a lot on your back. Feel free to stack your hands and just rest your forehead down on your hands. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, float your weight back again. Come to table position. We're going to bring our knees wide and see if you can let those toes face outward, letting the inside of the feet rest on the ground. Now you can use your pillow here and rest on top, coming to our frog pose. This is intense on the hips, so Feel free to use your prop here. If you're feeling comfortable here, you can rest down on the forearms instead. And this can be a lot under the knees too. So I'm going to face this way on my mat or you can face this way on your mat for an option. You can also fold your mat in half just to give you some cushion under your knees. I actually think I'm gonna do that. And again, you can rest down on your forearms or on top of your block or your pillows or your bolster. And if you're resting on pillows or a bolster and you have your head facing one way, you can turn your head to the other side.
Let's take an inhale. Exhale, roll that bolster out the way. Move those blocks or those pillows out the way. And we'll come to a seated position. Coming to a seated bend. Sitting nice and tall. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fall down over the knees. Just let the legs, let the hands fall as far as they can. If you can reach the feet, feel free to do that. You can also grab your pillows or your bolster, put it in between the legs and rest down on top. Or again, you can just melt down to your seated forward bend as you usually would. Couple more breaths. And we'll release, roll up to a seat. Bend your knees, bring your feet flat. Let's scoot our hips close to our heels. Make your way down to your back, hug your knees into your chest and just rock side to side to start. Keep the right knee hugged in and release the left leg to rest on the ground. And then use the left hand to pull the right knee over to the left. You can let that right arm extend to the side and let your gaze follow the right hand or either straight up towards the ceiling. If this feels okay, you can also bend that bottom knee, grabbing the left foot with the right hand, making a diamond shape with your body. Take one more breath. Release the foot, 
Release the knee, hug it back in towards your chest. This time we'll keep that left knee hugged in. Release the right leg to rest on the ground. Pull your left knee over to the right. You can bring a pillow underneath your knee if it doesn't quite touch the ground. Left arm extends to the side, gaze towards the left hand or up towards the ceiling. And if you're feeling comfortable, you can bend that bottom knee as well, grabbing the right ankle with the left hand. And inhale here. Exhale, release the knees, hug them back in towards the chest. Rock side to side. From here, you can move into a Shavasana. Feet reach the corner of the mat. Palms rest at your sides, facing upward. I'll leave a little bit of space for you here.
On your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Going back into your body. When you're ready, roll over onto your right side using your arm as a pillow. Just taking a quick moment here for some self-gratitude, of course. And when you're ready, roll up to a seat. And together, we'll sweep our arms up, inhale. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, that completes our yin yoga inspired practice where we're really focusing on stretching, holding, and relaxing. We only have a couple of days left. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you are thinking of the challenge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.